Okay, a friend of mine dropped off this old uh, Channel Master transistor ready at model 6514, eight transistors, all wave. I cannot tell about the uh, bands, possibly two bands. Looks like it runs off of uh, six volts. Don't know if this thing still works or not. You can see all the corrosion around the uh, battery holders and old batteries that somebody left in. The receiver. Let me uh, rig up a power supply and we'll apply some power and see if this thing makes any noise. The holder is so corroded with acid, I think I'm going to just cut this thing off. Maybe I can clean it up. Okay, here's my temporary power supply. You can see I just took a voltage regulator, an LT7806. I've got a 9-volt battery, reading just under 9 volts. And uh, going back to the uh, voltage regulator itself. And you can see I'm about 5.98 volts uh, DC back into the receiver. Anyway, I'm not getting anything on uh, either band, the marine band, nor the uh, broadcast. Except for some uh, noise. So the audio section is working. So that would be an indicator of the issues in the uh, RF side. I'm sure all the capacitors are uh, dried up, need to be replaced, and who knows what else as far as uh, transistors go, or maybe even problems with the uh, circuit board. A little tricky to uh, figure out where all the fasteners are that hold everything down. That one down here, another one here, one on the back side, one down here, and it looks like the uh, standoff itself here also acts as a uh, fastener there. Yeah, I don't want to pry it up. I'm sure I'm missing one or two. I'm going to have to take these uh, jacks loose as well. But uh, let me see if I can figure out the uh, remaining fasteners here that's holding the uh, circuit board back down to the old plastic case. Finally figured out how to get the uh, little circuit board out of the uh, plastic case. Hopefully did minimal damage. I've got one uh, wire up here that broke off from somewhere. May have already been broke. Who knows? I'll have to look at that. And I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the uh, little speaker wires here. You can see from this angle the uh, black going back to the uh, left and the green to the right. Just clip those off to get them out of the way. And one more lead. Looks like going to the external antenna, the uh, orange wire. Goes back to the uh, telescopic antenna connection uh, at this location and then jumpers back down to uh, this location as well. We can snip that loose just to get it out of the way. You can see some of the uh, E caps are used up. Hopefully, that'll be the major problem and not the uh, transistors themselves. Time will tell. Let me get my audio signal generator. will go to the high side of the uh, volume control. It's the little yellow lead here.
Okay, looks like everything on the audio section is uh, working uh, just okay. You can hear all the noise, so we'll back up here into the uh, RF section, see what's going on. Okay, I'm going to inject a, a signal at the base of the uh, second IF amplifier. Uh, right around 455 uh, kilohertz, just using a uh, low value capacitor. I think it's around 150 picofarads. Uh, less than that would probably be more adequate not to load the uh, circuit, but uh, this should suffice just for making sure we've got signal flowing through. Okay, let me back up to the uh, first IF amplifier. Again, the uh, base of that uh, location. All right, if I'm looking at my schematic correctly, it should be this location here. Looks like we're uh, good to that point, or at least uh, decent, I should say. Okay, I'm going to back up to the converter transistor. And I think the correct location here. A lot stronger signal at that point. Again, that's a uh, modulated carrier right around uh, 455 kilohertz. And I'm on the collector. Again, assuming I'm attaching to the right location, I think this is right. Let me go to the base of that uh, transistor, see what we have. Okay, back to the base, I believe. And then the collector. All right, let me continue to uh, back up here. Okay, I'm sure this thing needs to be uh, totally recapped, but I think the uh, problem has to do with the uh, loop antenna somewhere in this connection. You hear a faint signal come in when I put my hand near that area? The uh, receiver has an external antenna connection as well. I clipped it off, it's this little orange lead. Let me uh, hook up a, a wire antenna. The future, we don't have them today. Okay. Hey man, regardless what you All right, so what's going on with the uh, loop antenna? Let's do some uh, additional troubleshooting. 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code WOW25 for 25 cents per gallon bonus. That's code WOW. Okay, since we know the uh, problem, other than the old caps that are in here that still need to be replaced and any resistor that's out of tolerance. Looks like the uh, major issue is the uh, loop stick antenna. So let me go ahead and take these, uh, looks like two different uh, fasteners loose. See if I can remove this and then uh, maybe just touch up the uh, solder locations back to the PC board. If that uh, corrects the issue. You can see the LITS wire coming off of the uh, antenna coil back over to the uh, PC board. 
I'm going to just try to uh, heat up the uh, connections there on the PC board. Just reflow the solder and uh, see if I get lucky. And if not, then I'll pull the inductor out, that is the antenna coil, and uh, do some measurements. Well, can you believe it? The uh, first one that I hit right there. Okay, she's playing again now using the uh, loop antenna. Again, this thing needs to be uh, completely uh, recapped. So um, maybe I'll tackle that uh, down the road. But uh, for now, let me try to get the uh, antenna bar back mounted to the uh, chassis. This thing's kind of a pain to work on. Okay, it's playing again on the loop stick antenna again. The uh, caps still need to be replaced in this unit. You can see they're uh, pretty much dried up, used up. The external antenna connection. Also, some discovery still needed on the uh, loose wire right here that goes back over to the audio jack. Of yesterday. He is All right, folks, thanks for uh, watching and listening. Take care.